Hi guys, so today we're going to be talking about weight and capacity. First, I just kind of want to remind you that we've already discussed length in the metric system. So we're not dealing with the customary system right now, we're dealing with the metric system. Watch this video to make sure that you are remembering how to do length because you're going to do weight and capacity the exact same. Um, remember how I talked to you guys about um, in the metric system there's only three base units so remember in the customary system we had like inches, feet, yard in this we only have meters, grams, and liters and those are our three base units so that's what we're going to be working with so down here you've got kilo, hecto, deca um, that's where your base unit is, so that would be grams or meters or liters, okay? Deci, centi, and milli. So each one of these has a different meaning. So kilo means a thousand, hecto means a hundred, deca means ten, the base unit, meter, gram, liter is one, and then you've got a deci meaning one-tenth, centi meaning a hundredth, and then milli meaning a thousandth. So deci through milli are going to be less than a whole. Okay? So I just kind of wanted to remind you about that before we start working with converting other measurements in um, weight and capacity. So let's look at a couple of practice problems that deal with weight um, first. So remember, um, weight is going to be grams. So well, this one's dealing with um, length, but that's okay. So weight is going to deal with grams. So you could actually change this to 25 centigrams. And you could change this to milligrams. Okay? And it would still work. So like I said, Kilo through milli, they're going to be your determining, um, like, how much it's going to be valued. Okay, so if we are starting with 25 centigrams, see if I can get this up here. So if we're starting with 25 centigrams, we are here. So we need to figure out where we need to go in order to get milligrams. So what you're going to do is you're going to start here and you're either going to go up or you're going to go down the ladder. So millimeters or milli is right here. So that's where a milligram is going to be. So we're starting here and we're going here. So notice how I have an arrow going from centi to milli. So that means I'm going to multiply by 10. So if I were to multiply 25 by 10, I would get 250, and that's your answer, 250 milligrams. So it's very simple. You're either going up or down the ladder. So if we started with milligrams and we had 250 milligrams and we wanted to know how many centigrams we had, we would divide by 10 because we're going the opposite way. So every time you go down the ladder, think of it kind of like walking down steps is what I like to think about it. Um, if you start at kilo, is at the top of the steps, and you're walking down those steps, you're going to be multiplying by 10. If you are starting at the bottom of the steps and you're going up the steps, then you're going to divide by 10. So always look at your prefix. So centi milli, um, deca, anything like that, find whatever the question gives you, find that prefix on your stairs or on your ladder, however you want to look at it, and then determine which way you're going to go, okay? So if I'm starting here and it asks me, if I'm starting with decagrams and it wants to know how many kilograms that is, then you're going to go um, up the ladder or up the stairs, which means you're going to be dividing. And so notice I would go one, two, so then I would divide once by 10 
and then another time by 10. So let's do another one. Let's do, um, let's see if you can see this. Okay, so let's do 38 liters into milli milliliters. Milliliters. Okay, so if I'm starting with liters, remember that's with capacity. So liter would be my base unit. So anytime you just see liter, gram, or meter all by itself, that's your base unit. So you're going to start right here, okay? And we need to find milliliters, which means I need to look for milli. So if I'm starting here with liters, I'm looking all through my prefixes, and I'm trying to find milli. Well, it's at the bottom of my stairs. So I'm going to go one, two, three down my stairs, which means I'm going to be multiplying by 10. So I'm going to multiply 38 by 10 once, which gives me 380. And then again, which gives me 3,800. And then again, which gives me 30, 38,000. So 38,000 milliliters are in 38 liters. So all you're doing is moving up and down the stairs. So we've done multiplying in the practice problems for the interactive notebook. We're going to be doing dividing so that you can see how that works as well. Um, but the metric system is very simple. If you have Make sure you have this filled out and you're using this for your practice problems because really all you have to do is go down or up and it tells you exactly how to do that. If you have a decimal like we had here, so if it was 3 and 8 tenths liters and it wants to know how many, how many centiliters, Okay, you're going to do the same thing. So you're going to start here, and you're going to go one, two, because there's my centi. So I'm going to move this decimal one, two. And so I get 380 centiliters. Okay, if I moved it once, it would be 38. But right here, a zero would fit right here. Okay. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to call, text, email, dojo message me, and we can do some, I can set up a Zoom and we can do some independent practice. On Wednesday, we're also going to be doing some independent practice, so don't fret too much. It's going to be okay. All you're doing is moving either the decimal or you're multiplying or dividing by 10. If we were going the opposite way, so we had 380 centiliters. Our decimal, remember, to make it a whole number, the decimal is always behind the last number. So then if I'm going to liters, I would just move it one, two, because that would be dividing. You're making your number smaller, okay? So three and eight tenths liters, okay? I think you guys will like this a little bit better than the customary. It's a little bit easier. Um, like I said, on Wednesday, block one, you're at 11. Block two, you're at 12.30. So on Wednesday, we're going to be doing more with this, okay? But just work. use your... Um, Use your anchor chart to work through problems and go to the interactive notebook so you can see some more practice problems, okay? All right, you guys, thank you for joining me and thank you for watching my video. I will see you guys later.